The Pico 155 wafering sock is a very versatile and precise cutter. It features variable speed cutting from 50 to 1500 RPM with a digital display of the speed. Although the most common blade size used on the Pico 155 is a 6 inch diameter blade, it can accept blades ranging from 3 to 7 inches in diameter. Included with the saw are a wide range of fixtures. There is an optional table feed attachment for cutting printed circuit boards. The Pico 155 has an adjustable load that can be varied to provide minimal cutting force for very sensitive samples or increase to relatively high loads for tougher samples. It can be used at speeds as low as 50 RPM for cutting very soft and brittle materials such as electronic components or at speeds as high as 1500 RPM for sectioning harder, tougher materials such as engineered structural ceramics and composites. For precisely locating the area of the cut, an adjustable micrometer is attached to the positioning shaft. The micrometer has a range of up to one inch. What makes the Pico 155 such a versatile cutting machine is the wide selection and range of vices that come standard with the wafering saw. These include the double saddle chuck, which is used to adhere the sample on both sides. This eliminates the cutting burrs that can occur when fixturing only one side of the sample. For ceramic samples, this is very useful. The irregular sample vise is very useful for odd-shaped samples such as minerals and samples with more complex geometry. The round vices are for sectioning pre-mounted specimens for more precise cutting. One of the unique advantages of the Pico 155 is that the fixturing vices can be easily adjusted to position the specimen correctly relative to the wafering blade. This will be demonstrated later, however, in general the specimen should be positioned to the back of the blade apex in order to minimize drag. A blade fixturing device is included and can be assembled onto the Pico 155. Dressing or cleaning the blade is often required to ensure the fastest and cleanest cuts. This blade conditioning process is especially useful for soft gummy materials. However, it is also very useful for cleaning off any smear material from the blade bonding material itself. The Pico 155 has been designed to accept blades ranging from 3 inches up to 7 inches. Common blades include diamond or CBN wafering blades in either a low or high abrasive concentration. The abrasive size can also be a very significant factor in the cutting result and Pace Technologies offers both finer and coarser grit diamond wafering blades for use on the Pico 155. Although less common, silicon carbide and aluminum abrasive blades can also be used on this saw. The Pico 155 is very easy to use with simple on-off buttons and a potentiostat for controlling the wheel speed. With the optional table feed attachment, samples such as printed circuit boards can be easily sectioned. The Pico 155 has also been designed for easy service. By opening the side panel, the electronic components are relatively easy to access and service if necessary. For safety, the Pico 155 features an emergency stop button, a magnetic interlock to stop the motor when opening the hood, and a shatter resistant protective cover. The versatility of the saw is demonstrated with the following examples.
setup and operation of the Pico 155 is relatively straightforward. The first step is to fixture and position the specimen. proper setup would be to locate the specimen so that the sample is being cut behind the apex of the blade. For soft gummy material such as copper, if the sample is located on the front side of the blade apex, it produces a lot of drag on the motor as the cutting operation is pulling the specimen down into the blade. This can possibly stall the blade. The second step is to set the cutting force by adjusting the variable weight on the loading arm. Before starting the cut, there is an automatic cutoff switch that can be adjusted inside the machine. With this properly adjusted, the Pico 155 motor will automatically stop after the switch is engaged, thus making the cutting operation a hands-free process. By adjusting the micrometer, the specimen can be precisely cut, or multiple sections can be easily produced. Once the unit is set up, press the start button and the Pico 155 will do the rest. After the cut has been completed and the shutoff switch is engaged, a buzzer will sound to signify that the cut is finished. We have already briefly discussed dressing the blade. However, if you're seeing a significant increase in the time required to make a cut, is a good indication that the blade may require cleaning or dressing. Here is an example of cutting a very hard silicon nitride sample. Many would think that since this is a ceramic material, the blade would not need to be dressed, as the sample itself would not smear over the abrasive. This is true, however since these blades are metal press blades, meaning that the diamond or CBN abrasive is pressed into a metal powder, the metal bonding material can actually smear over the blade. The following chart shows that for cutting silicon nitride, the first cut is very fast and the time required increases significantly for additional cuts. After dressing, the cutting time returns to that of the initial cut. Dressing is accomplished with a vitrified dressing stone. The dressing stone is slowly fed into the blade at a relatively low blade speed of approximately 200 to 300 RPM. Note if the speed is too high, then we are only cutting the stone not actually allowing it to clean the smeared metal off the abrasive surface. 